Fairy ring is one of the commonly encountered turf grass diseases, but because it causes so many different types of symptoms, it can be hard to diagnose. The symptoms of fairy ring have been classified several different ways, but the most popular classifications use types 1 through 3 to describe the severity of turf damage. Type 1 fairy ring, shown here, is the most severe with rings of dead grass. Type 2 fairy ring symptoms have an area of stimulated turf growth. The type 1 and type 2 fairy rings sometimes also produce fruiting bodies called mushrooms or puffballs, but these don't necessarily have to be present. Type 3 fairy rings do not have dead or stimulated grass, they just have mushrooms or puffballs. The important thing to remember is that fairy ring fungi can cause a whole spectrum of different symptoms. For example, in this image, there are almost no observable symptoms except for the degraded thatch that looks like someone hit the turf with a sledgehammer and dented the surface. The thatch degradation was caused by a fairy ring fungus. The thatch degrading properties of fairy ring fungi frequently result in uneven surfaces, as in this bentgrass tea. The sunken areas are the result of thatch degradation by fairy ring fungi. Take a look at the thatch area from the same tea. Granted, thatch management was not up to current standards. Note the area that the fairy ring fungus degraded the thatch, resulting in sunken areas throughout the tea. Fairy ring fungi also frequently cause soils to become water repellent or hydrophobic. In this case, the fairy ring fungus colonized the root zone down to about 6 inches. The fungus produced waxy materials that coated the sand particles, making them water repellent. At the other end of the spectrum of symptoms, you can experience completely dead grass with mushrooms or puffballs. If you think you have fairy ring but aren't sure, it's always good to get a diagnosis from a professional. But there's a good quick test that you can conduct on your own as well. Just put a cup cutter sample of turf that you suspect is being attacked by fairy ring into a plastic bag. Seal the bag and let it incubate for 24 hours in your office. Because fairy ring fungi are thatch degraders, the fungal mycelia will frequently grow in the thatch area, as shown in this photo. Despite the many types of symptoms caused by fairy ring fungi, the practices used to manage the symptoms are similar. There are several fungicides that have shown good efficacy against fairy ring fungi in research trials. These are listed in the links that appear above this video. In this photo, Nathan Radwick at the bridges at Rancho Santa Fe evaluated early spring application of Balaton for control of green ring symptoms of fairy ring or type 2 symptoms and the front half of the green was treated with Balaton, the back half was non-treated. The treated area was free of the fairy ring symptom. In addition to chemical control agents, there are several cultural practices that are effective in managing fairy ring symptoms. These include the use of nitrogen to mask the appearance of the green rings, and to use wetting agents and water forks to prevent the dry spots from developing. Tackling fairy ring in the springtime before symptoms develop is important. For this reason, knowing how to recognize early symptoms can save you a lot of trouble and turf damage. Check out the links provided with this video as well as the Pace Turf Photo Gallery for more information and more photos of fairy ring symptoms.